John here again with Fit for Knives. Today uh, I have, it's a rainy, nasty day, so I just wanted to give you a quick update or progress report on a knife I bought a few years ago. It's called the Outdoor Edge Saberback Buoy. You've probably seen this reviewed on YouTube a few times. And um, this little knife, um, it's not really little, but uh, it's been a great little blade. I tell you, I have abused this thing and uh, used it as you can see. It has definitely got some use and uh, it hasn't failed me. Uh, for the price, you can still get these on Amazon for about 40 bucks. It's 65 mm spring steel. The blade is not super thick. As you can see, it's not like a really thick blade. It's under 3 sixteenths of an inch. It's very rigid though. You know, it's, it's, it's like a thick machete, I guess, you know? But uh, the overall length is about 17 inches. It's over 17 inches. Um, it has the rubberized handle on it. The only issue with the knife is it had a jewel right here that was kind of just, you know, like a sticker in there or glued in there and it fell out over time. I still have it. I just never put it back in there. Doesn't affect the uh, performance or anything like that. Still a great little knife. Um, this would be a good knife for a beginner, you know, or, you know, just a knife that you have uh, in your pack, you know, to cut uh, cut through just about anything. I mean, I've, I've used this knife on, you know, large, uh, projects, you know, uh, as far as like thicker limbs and things like that. Now the saw on the back, I mean, this thing is aggressive. The only thing is it's kind of short. So it's, you know, uh, if you get into something, you know, over, you know, two inches thick, it kind of binds up on you. But if you use, um, use it on like smaller limbs uh, or whatever cuts, it cuts through great. I mean, this thing is aggressive. <laughs> so if you, uh, if you catch yourself with that, you, you, you're going to have some flesh coming off there with it. So be careful on that deal. Um, it has this really, uh, aggressive belly right here so it is it's just great for chopping and the handle is very comfortable um it has a lanyard hole so you know for the price of this blade right here i mean 40 bucks and it also comes with a decent sheath like i said i've had this a few years the sheath is still in great shape um it's not super cheesy it's actually usable, you know? Um, they, they actually put uh, some effort into this sheath that has a, like a hard plastic liner in there. So just wanted to give you a quick uh, progress report or update on this particular knife. If you've ever seen these uh, on the internet or whatever, if you've been shopping around and seen one of these, these are definitely worth getting. This has been passed down to my son and he loves it. Well, that's it for the review. I'm not going to do any chopping or anything like that. You can check out some other videos on that deal. Just kind of wanted to give you a little update on this knife and how good it's been to me. All right. This is John with Fit for Knives. You guys tune in again. Take care.